After years of seeing trash build up in mangroves on Florida Keys off its native Miami, five years ago, Andrew Otazo began hauling out garbage to raise awareness about an ecosystem he has been enjoying since he was a teenager. Our next report brings you more. A public relations professional and self-described amateur mangrove trash collector, Andrew Otazo has removed more than 10 tons of waste from barrier islands around Miami. That includes the area of Key Biscayne, where he now lives. I've been coming out here since I was 13, and for as long as I've been trekking to the mangroves, there's been trash <laughs> everywhere, and uh, it's been really uh, frustrating because as I got older and I learned more about the importance of the mangroves as a keystone ecosystem, I realized how much damage it was doing to local wildlife and eventually I'm a very stubborn person and if uh, if I see that somebody isn't addressing a problem um, I tend to try to address it myself. On a walk through the Bear Cut Preserve in Key Biscayne's Crandon Park, Otaso collected debris from what was once a makeshift camp used by a fugitive. He collected trash, including a small Cuban flag and a camping chair. Otaso acknowledges that the exhausting 12-hour stints of walking through mangroves and carrying bags of trash on his back are not a long-term solution to the problem. However, his efforts have gotten the attention of local politicians. The trash primarily comes from litter thrown onto streets in the Miami area that washes into storm drains and ends up floating into Biscayne Bay. Local authorities need to install trash collection systems on storm drains to stop trash from entering the fragile mangrove ecosystem. There's a VR headset. There was, a, right over there actually, there was a 200 pound dinghy that washed ashore. There was a side of a cargo ship from Louisiana that had been uh, in the ocean since 2011 that we found and we brought in. Uh, what else? There was like a 200 foot long rope. There is, and just everything, everything. I've, I found enough car parts to build my own F-150 if I wanted to. Batteries, bumpers, doors, uh, furniture, mirrors, you name it. If humanity makes it, I have found it in the mangroves. Otaso is an endurance athlete and deep water swimmer. He once completed a marathon while carrying 35 pounds of mangrove trash in a backpack to raise awareness of the problem. Debris on the barrier islands ranges from syringes and used diapers to furniture and mirrors. Otazo says that he will keep collecting trash till he is physically incapable of doing so. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.